State your mission. What is your company mission? Remember, we talked about a vision statement. Um, a mission has to be an overview of where you want your product or service to go, where your company needs to be. Your marketing objectives, pretty simple. That's a two paragraph type statement. Sometimes you can do it in one paragraph. What you intend to do, how you want to be rev uh, generate revenue and be profitable. Financial objectives, big money, right? Somewhere in there, you need to tell me you want to be profitable. So maybe here, you can put your budget, your financial budget. Remember we looked at a three year in our first week? Year one, year two, year three. Uh, revenue minus uh, cost of goods sold minus SGNA minus marketing equals your gross profit. Maybe that could be your three year forecast right there. Those are your financial objectives. At the end of the year, you want to be profitable after three years. That makes sense. The sweet, the sweet target is 18 months. If you can get profitable in 18 months, you've got a real functional business, very successful. Okay, your next section, which is the next piece that you have to deliver, is your positioning, strategies, marketing mix, and marketing research. Three, five to three, eight. Now let's talk about marketing research for a second. Generally speaking, that in this type of a marketing plan, in our marketing plan for this course, it's really not that comprehensive because we're not doing our own individual studies. We're not hiring someone to do our market research for us. So we're using what we call secondary data, right? Not primary data. Primary data is the data we go out and get for ourselves. So that's where you would define this in this marketing research section. You'll define how you collected the data, how you got the data, how you use the data, all the quantitative analysis goes into this. So for hours, we don't have to worry that much about it. However, you could use this section to dump in information that you couldn't find somewhere else to put and reference it within the plan somewhere. Since you're doing a lot of research, maybe there's additional information that'll help support the argument. You can put that here in 3.8. So what's the important part of this section then? 3.5 to 3.8, it's the marketing mix, right? The four Ps, product, price, place, and promotion. This section here could be four individual pages. It could be eight individual pages. It could be 10 individual pages. The two biggest pieces of this plan are your target markets and your marketing mix because this is going to define how you're taking the product to market. So when you talk about your promotion, you have to make sure that you talk about not only who you're going after, but when you're going after them and how much you're spending to go after them. Now we, we'll talk about a promotional budget in a couple classes from now. But this is where that section goes in. You want to put a promotional budget here of how much you're spending. That's important. You want to define your product more closely here if you didn't define it as good as you want to in 2.4. You want to talk about your channel if you didn't really discuss it uh, uh, as well in any of the two sections. And then, of course, you want, you want to talk about your price. Okay? Because the price is going to help us make money, which is our financial objectives. It's going to help us be successful. It's going to be defined everywhere in within the section. So price has to be defined in this section as well. And remember, we talked about price last week. There are three C's for pricing. And that was what? Customer, cost, customer, and competition. Okay, if you know those three C's, you can develop your price. Now we'll look at price a little more, I think in two weeks, because that's a very important part of the plan here, okay? All right, so that's your three submissions. Your last submission is a build upon on all these submissions. Today, or when you get done uh, with your first submission, I'll go back and look at that. I'm going to go through it, put a lot of comments in there, or as many as I need to, to guide you into the direction you need to go. And then you're going to work that into your final draft. So each part can be done individually, but it's a build upon. Okay, so you, it's going to be connected somewhere in your mind, hopefully. Maybe not on the paper at the moment, but in your mind it's connected. Because your final submission has to include everything 
from page one all the way down to the final page. And the final submission includes your implementation, uh, you, which are your controls, right? How you're going to uh, put your controls into place. Your marketing organization, in this case, is a very simple explanation. Me, um, as the CMO, somebody else as the marketing executive, very flat, very straight line explanation because this is just a new plan that we're doing. And then, of course, contingency plan. What's that? Plan B. Mm -hmm. If something fails, we go to plan B. We try to make something happen that way. And it could be an exit strategy, too. An exit strategy should include something that maybe you want to pull out of, close, uh, end, whatever it is, has to be a plan B there. And then finally, your executive summary. Okay. That's the marketing plan outline. Generally speaking, though, not every marketing plan will follow this outline. There are more traditional, some have more bullet points, some have less bullet points. Uh, we reviewed nine important sections. I always start there because that's the, the meat of any marketing plan. Without those nine sections, you can't do any of this. And remember, the important part to think about when you're doing this marketing outline is the who, the what, the when, the why, the how. Think of those fundamental basic questions and I will help you fill in some blanks here. And you can sort of map that out. And then we talk about the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. Okay, Add that together with being unique Add that together with your SWOT analysis and your competition, your macro and your uh, micro analysis. Add that to your budget and your forecast. You add that to your, uh, your target market selection, of course. Add that to your product, your uniqueness, and you've got yourself a marketing plan. You put the executive summary on top, and you're done.